Hello everybody, my name is Retro and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. There you go. Thank you for letting me actually get that intro in this time. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so we gotta go over Nuzlocke rules real quick. If, yep, on the computer. Okay. Yep. Alright. First rule of Nuzlocke. First Pokemon you see, you gotta catch it no matter where it is. Uh, in the roots. Second rule, Nuzlocke Pokemon faints, it's dead. It's gone forever, you gotta release it the minute it dies, even if it's your starter. Rule three, you gotta nickname every single Pokemon and you gotta make sure you have a heartfelt connection with them because when they eventually do faint, your soul feels like it's ripped out of its heart. It's true. Very true. Okay, so we're playing Soul Silver, and uh, cause why did we pick Soul Silver again? Uh, because Soul Silver is better than Heart Gold. Honestly, I thought you I thought you bought gold though. I thought that's the one you got. No, I got silver, my brother got gold, and then I told him he was inferior. Right. I just didn't want to, you know, have a giant fire chicken as my as my legendary Pokemon. What's wrong with a giant fire chicken? Or a giant hostess tasty cake as my... <laughs> I, ho -ho. Wasn't it Ho-Oh? It's Ho-Oh, but I was... Ho-Ho is the tasty cake. Yes, but that's why... I, was... I don't like it when you're messing up with my tasty cake. <sighs> <laughs> alright. Alright, alright, start it. Po Pokemon Oak. Battle of <laughs> Pokemon Oak. <laughs> Pokey Oak. What's our name? I'm a boy, but I, I identify as a trans- Plankin! <laughs> Fuck it. No! Plow. What? Plow. 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 <laughs> Plow. <laughs> no, 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 like, uh... Plowert. 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 Like, Plowert. like... Plowert. Plowert. He's fucking Plowert. <laughs> wow, your name is Plowert, right? I'm Plow, you're... Dirt. <laughs> Alright, fine. Alright. It's okay, because Plowert is getting ready for his Pokemon adventure. Doesn't know that yet. Yeah. It's like Christmas morning surprise. He's coming downstairs. <laughs> ah, Plowert, you're finally awake. I'm glad you got out of your chains upside. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's not start this off wrong. Okay. So his name is Plowert because his parents named him just like how people name Pokemon. The first sound he made. <laughs> Perfect, he is a plower. We will name our rival after the first sound we hear from him. You don't hear sounds from the rivals. Oh, we can imagine a sound. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I keep for this was like the first game that was 3D for Pokemon, wasn't it? Well, no, no, no. That was um that was Pearl, Diamond and Pearl. The Diamond and Pearl had like 3D structures. Well, this was the first one that Pokemon followed you. Right? Yes, the only one that Pokemon followed. Yeah. Wait, no, except for uh except for the yellow version of well, Pokemon Yellow version. Can we not walk this way yet? No, we need a Pokemon. Right, that's that's the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's pretty much saying, Yo, kid, I, I want you to take down a whole crime organization. But I'm only ten! But that's nothing. He My parents named me Plowers! <laughs> yeah, and they named me Elm. You know why? Why? Because they dropped me out of an elm tree. My parents were hippies. Let's no, pick! No, no. Let's pick! But no, go back. I, okay. I don't want to die. <laughs> let's let's okay. pick! Let's go, let's go Chikorita. Ooh, Not Chikorita. Chikorita. No, 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 no. Uh, I meant, I meant Cyndaquil. Should we, wait, can we randomize it? No. You, you don't want to randomize? I, I really want Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's cute. Cyndaquil is the adorable one. Yeah, but, which will make it devastating when they die. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you make a very convincing <laughs> point. Oh, God. We gotta, we gotta hit it hard now, Zach. We gotta hit it hard. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers, you received <laughs> Cyndaquil from Professor L. Oh, oh, I thought it was like someone talking to him. Give it <laughs> oh, yeah, there's just a scientist right behind the bookshelf going, Plowers! He follows us everywhere. Perfect. His name's Jerry. He's actually our caretaker. Hey, Sume. You want to name it Sume? Sume is... Sumak. Oh, Sumak. S-U-M-A-C. Sumak. It's a berry that's tangy and lemony. Let's do it. Sumak. How do you spell that? S-U-M-A-C. Oh, you say the same words. Letters S U M. They're not full words yet, Zach. <laughs> Sumac the Cynicquil. All right, okay, I can jive with that. Sumac, the name you want to give? Sure, because he's probably tangy to the touch. Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal with this machine. You just—it's like straight up heroin, but it heals them. <laughs> I was just gonna say that the energy goes into it, and then bleep bloop bleep bloop bleep it happens, and then they're magic. That sound is like critical <laughs> to it too. You need to have the bleep bloop bleep bloop bleep. Like there's a power outage at the Pokemon Center. The children are crying because like their Raichu was fainted and they can't bring it back. I'm like, quick, just put it in a Pokeball. Okay, and the Nurse Joy cups it in its hands. Your Pokeball came back from the repair. 
When did you- what did you do to it to break it? Uh, well, I'll tell you what I didn't do. Bleep bloop bleep bleep bleep. <laughs> phone call to- it's like, do you remember how- It's like, uh, mom, I don't know how this new phone- Do you remember how to call me? He gets to Mount Silver later, and he like looks at his phone, and it's like 11 missed calls from mom. He's <laughs> like, he just looks at Red. Shit. And he's like, Red's like, what is it, dude? He shows him the phone, he's like, <gasps> Rod! <laughs> Here, you want to take my Zapdos? Alright, let's just register the creepy Pokemon professor from our town. He's not creepy, he gave us an animal that was trapped in a ball. Mmm, never mind. <laughs> Squirrel Coon. I was uh, talking to one of my friends earlier, and I was just like, why is flying type so effective against fighting? And then he just gets like his lips almost touched. Keep walking, don't just don't just just keep. So he just he comes up to me, he gets really close to me, and he's just like, "You have attracted a bunch of bird." <laughs> I gotta see a pop up over there. That's not so bad. Yeah. All right. So All right, do you want to take this back now? Yeah, sure. This is a kind of an awkward position. You have a laptop and an extra keyboard. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that shit, man. We can't go that way, can we? Nope, no, we don't have cut. We, we can. We cannot. I can't. What? I don't know why. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was a pun. <laughs> well, we can't go that way. Yeah, we can't. I don't know why we can't just like pick up Cyndaquil, turn him backwards, and use his like flames <laughs> to burn down the forest. <laughs> just like, whoosh! <laughs> but like, don't, the only way to make him like do that is to make him scared? Or is it so like you just like <laughs> holding Cyndaquil by the head, just shouting in his face? Oh! <laughs> he gets so scared. It's like the old man from Courage the Cowardly Dog puts on a mask. Yeah. Just... Booga, booga, booga. <laughs> you know the theory about Courage the Cowardly Dog, right? Is there a theory? Or are you just making sure. No, no, it? it was an actual theory. Like the whole uh, the whole series was just from Courage's point of view. Like n none of the scary stuff happened. It was just everything from a dog's point of view. Oh, so like, what were certain things? Like, I don't know, give me an episode. I uh, there was the moment where uh, I don't know courage that well. Well, it, there was like always creepy people who came to the house. Yes. That's just how a dog views people when they actually come to a place. Like they've never seen them before. Like, oh, they're obviously bad. I'm just gonna bark at them. But instead of barking, courage is like, they would kill me. I think they made a Tarantino reference in Courage. They did. Yeah, Quentin Tarantella or yeah. something. Like that. It's an old man! Hey, it's a rookie archer! It's a camera! It's a rookie Hang on, stop, 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 hang on. Follow me! <laughs> oh my god. Go follow him. Uh, okay. Or not. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say you weren't wearing the running shoes! S sir, all shoes are running shoes. No, <laughs> it's dragging! Wait. He just... <laughs> Alright. Where's the Pokemon Center? I got kicked out of here before sleeping on the bench! And then you hear somebody shouting, Blow, 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 blow! <laughs> <laughs> They must be busy. There's a Pokemon. Mart. This is where I get my trunks from. And they also kicked me out because I was sleeping on the bench in there. <laughs> I also was stealing some of the trunks. What? No, it doesn't matter. Get out of here, old man. <laughs> I can't. I can't go that way because my legs are broken. Kind of. I actually need. Do your toes feel wet? My toes feel wet. <laughs> here, let's douse your cynical. Cool. See, Ooh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I can't. I can't keep up. You. <laughs> and our character's just like. He's pretty spry for an old guy. I mean, seriously, look at him. He's just running all over the place. <laughs> Plowed received the running shoes. <laughs> there's, some, there's some seriously fucked up old running shoes. They're not even shoes. They're like banana peels. <laughs> like, sir, I don't want to wear these, but he's looking at you with like those old people's sincerity eyes. Like, please take my present. And so you're like, uh, okay, I'll wear them. So he's just like taking off his shoes, and then he looks back up to the old man, and the old man just stare at meeting him right in the eyes. <laughs> and there's a tear falling from his face. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, 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 I'm doing it. And then he takes off his socks too, looks back up to the man. And the man's just still staring like he hasn't even flinched. Yeah. No, and then he puts on the banana peels and the old man's just like, huh. And then just dies right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's been dead the whole time. He put on the banana peels and he's just like, oh. oh uh. <laughs> no, no, I'm wearing the banana peels. Don't worry. I forgot about one thing. Take it. Uh, the guy gent loaded a map card. Oh, okay. He really just spit onto our phone. And yeah. <laughs> Here, I forgot something. Uh, thank you. Come again. I'm gonna go sleep on a bunch. <laughs> Get out of here, old man. Uh, all right, L later, Jen. Right. You know, I think it's a good place to stop right now. Oh. We're on what route? What route is this? Route one to twenty. Two twenty. Well, no, I mean, okay, Cherry Grove, and then 30. Route thirty. Okay. We're gonna end it right here, Route 30. We got we got um a, a Poke Gear. Yeah, we got a phone that has spit in it. <laughs> we got banana peels for shots. 
What I like is, like, look at the, um, look at the little, um, where the shoes are, you can tap that, um, to, well, I mean... Yeah, and in the DS version, I mean, we're totally playing it on the DS. <laughs> exactly. Not but no, but, like, you can tap that to run fast, but it's, ye it's yellow. It knows we have banana peels for shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, we'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Nuzlocke Soul Silver. Hello, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, did, did, I, did I break your concentration? Hello, everybody! My name is Retro, and today we're playing, what, Pokemon Soul <laughs> Silver Nuzlocke. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna try one more time? <laughs> Take three. Take three. Let's do this. But this time I want you to feel it. I want you to feel it. Hey, hello everybody. My name is Josh and well- Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. God! I just wanted to intro! <laughs> I, I, I just knew. You, the third time, you're thinking in your head, you're like, perfect. This time's the charm. I can do this. I can finally- And then I was like, how will I- You know what? I'm just gonna- White noise.